Pinnacles National Park. It's as old as the infant planet Earth in its orbit of fire. It's also an extraordinary place, as dramatic as its amazing rock formations. The area's volcanic past was paired with tectonic plate uplift to create a special place of renewal. Of this wilderness, as old as the Earth that spawned it, the United States government created a stunning 59th National Park. Pinnacles. Of the galaxy of big, wild California national parks, Yosemite, Lassen Volcanic, Redwoods, Pinnacles National Park is the one closest to a major population area, only 80 miles southeast of San Jose. It's small, a mere 40 square miles, but it's a fascinating area for exploration. No road connects its east and west sides, only hiking trails. Since January 10th, 2013, it has basked in the stewardship of the National Park Service. Chaparral, oak woodlands, black-tailed deer. Here, the wild can chirp and growl. Raccoons, mountain lion. National Parkhood allows them to revel in these rocks and trees and flowers. National Parkhood is a kind of life assurance for the wilderness, for them, and for you. If from its variety of wildlife, a creature was chosen as emblematic of this new national park, it would be this one. No bird in North America can match it in size and flight. The California condor. With a wingspan of more than nine feet, it soars on the warm updrafts at speeds of 55 miles an hour to altitudes of 15,000 feet above land. And here, Pinnacles National Park is a home base. These magnificent birds were almost lost to us, almost driven into extinction Losing forever such a splendid creature is like Mother Nature losing a child. Once this great bird soared America's skies from Mexico to Canada. By the 1980s, in California, there are only 22 condors left. So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service set out to capture those remaining birds for a breeding program. Condors mate for life. Their offspring become their future. And now, more than 30 condors roost in Pinnacles National Park. Pinnacles becomes a release site. As they increase, they're numbered and sent back into their native wilderness, with researchers tracking their movements with radio telemetry to ensure their continuing growth in the wild. Condors, who'd been nurtured at Pinnacles, will fly some 60 miles as far as Big Sur in their search for food. Dramatically, a species on the brink of extinction is now on the rebound. Hold on to your binoculars, for condors are not the only birds to see. Pinnacles is graced with some 150 different species of birds, a bonanza for bird watchers. One of the most interesting is the acorn woodpecker. 
to hikers. These California oaks offer shade from the scorching sun and provides nourishing food, acorns, for many kinds of forest creatures. It's been called the giving tree. Acorns are not only the staple of an acorn woodpecker's diet, they demonstrate a remarkable feat of avian engineering. This red-capped bird pecks a hole in a lifeless tree and then deftly taps an acorn into it. Food for the winter. Some trees are completely pocked with these holes, which store up to 50,000 acorns. The Pinnacles is the 59th National Park designated by the United States Congress. Its protection goes back to 1908, when then-President Theodore Roosevelt declared this area a national monument. But with millions of tourists clamoring to see Yosemite and Yellowstone, Pinnacles remained hidden in the shadows. Now, as a national park, it has come boldly into the sun. An ancient volcano shaped this land with its namesake towers of rock and its caves unlike any other. High and teetering, huge boulders came crashing down and got stuck between narrow canyon walls, thus forming a rocky roof overhead. These are called talus caves. Bear Gulch Cave is a must-see feature. It's dark, it's cool and damp, a welcome relief from the scorching sun. These caves are narrow, winding and twisting. Adventurous hikers inch in slowly. In the steepest parts, you're protected by iron guardrails. Flashlights are held tightly and gratefully. Who knows, in its beam, you might catch a sight of a California red-legged frog. Or bats. Half of California's species of bats are found in the caves. Emerged from the cave at a dam built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. Bear Gulch Reservoir, a popular stopover for hikers, is a watery oasis in a land parched much of the year. A cluster of high peaks are at the heart of Pinnacles, challenging hikers to climb me if you can. There are no roads leading up this high. The park is ribboned with more than 30 miles of trails including Condor Gulch Trail. A steep one-mile trail leg takes the hiker to an overlook with spectacular views of the pinnacles, and if you are lucky, views of the soaring or resting resident condors. From here, the hiker can ascend to greater heights on the High Peaks Trail. The difficulty increases. Some trails lead climbers up cliffs so steep that there are handrails to grip onto. Even the tunnels are carved out of solid rock. And some cliffs have ascending stairs chiseled into the rock. At trail's end, you can see what the condor sees. Rock climbers feel right at home here at Pinnacles. Novice climbers, tenderfoots, calculate every move, every step, before taking it. Experienced climbers work as a team. Trails with hundreds of routes challenge these weekend warriors to scale these dangerously steep rocks. The lead climber, with careful placement of his hands and feet, inches up, protected by a belayer below. Through summer and autumn, 
A view from the top is that of a sunburned landscape, a parched monochrome. But after the winter rains, when the canyon riverbeds run with water, the park becomes alive with flowers. Dazzling, mind-boggling, a vast landscape of flowers, attracting multitudes of worker bees. 400 different kinds of bees labor here, perhaps the greatest density in the world. Bees that pollinate for new life. This wilderness is half as old as time, and yet new. New sights, new life, and renewal for those who come. Pinnacles, America's newest national park.